This is in response to Chris Wren's video from a Brit in the Philippines. I'll link to the video in the comments below. Um, the description. The point here is do not trust other expats. You don't know them and the bad ones are very well aware that you're the new arrival. I know from my own experience, not that I'd be ripped off, but seeing what people get up to, that these guys hang out on forums, they hang out on a, they're everywhere, the expats are looking for information and help, and a lot of the time they're on the surface. They're looking to find somebody that goes, I'm a lame duck, um, I want help, and I trust you because you're from the same country, or you're another Westerner. They are basically looking at you as prey. Um, they will exploit the situation. Now, there are probably only 1% of the community, but you'll find a lot of the other people like myself. I'm approachable, but I'm not going to push myself upon you. I'm not going to turn around and say, oh, yeah, come on, I'll, I'll sort you out, come with me. But a lot of these guys will. They'll be, I'll pick you up from the airport, I'll do this, I'll do it. They're not doing it for free. And I mentioned the legacy scandal previously. A lot of expats were involved in that. They ripped off other expats. There's forums you're not allowed to discuss the legacy stuff. They actually ban people that were ripped off. They actually don't want to talk about it. They don't want to be mentioned at the fact they were tied with it. So be aware, they do mop up afterwards as well if something really goes badly wrong. Um, but the, the point here is Chris Wren has had some problems with another expat. Um, he's lent money, he's um, been paying extra bills, etc. Don't get involved. It is not your problem. Uh, you know, what I mean is if somebody says to me, oh, the electric bill's come in, can you pay it early? I'll say, well, no. You know, what? Well, you know, if, it, if the bill isn't physically in the hand, I wouldn't pay it at all. Uh, it just means that people are, are trying to jump ahead. But also, if you come to an agreement, I've, with all my tenants I've had over the years, I've never once asked for anybody in money in advance, ever. Um, I don't go, oh, I'm going on holiday, can you give me two weeks rent in advance, etc. Why would you? You know, it's, it's, not, it's not business. Um, but the point is, Chris got roped into giving a loan and other bits and pieces. Don't trust other expats, simple as that. If somebody's asking for money, I walk away. And some people have sent me comments even on my channel saying, oh Matt, I need help, blah, 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 finance, blah. I want to help you, I'll tell you now. Because A, I don't know you. B, I'm well aware of how many people rip each other off. I've got a guy that bloody emails me on a regular basis. Oh, I'll do this for you, and I'll, you can pay me this. And I'm like, I'm not paying you nothing. You haven't produced anything. I haven't asked you to produce anything. But you need to be aware that if you're going to get ripped off, it's more likely going to be an expat. Filipinos, you don't know them well enough yet. It'll take you time. You know, there's things like buying a car or something you like to get stung on. But even then, they do it to each other. Mm -hmm.